as I'm making this video, the uh, school computer server is down. From uh, the feedback I got from you guys, uh, a couple of feedback got from you guys for problem number eleven. Problem number eleven. I I like to give you a hint. Uh, you don't need to use RTO, even in that lecture I was talking about RTO. No, you just use TON, use TON. Um, it's only about a couple runs, then you should be able to get it done. Uh, it's not really that complicated, it's just the logic, it's a little bit confusing, and you need to get this logic straight out. Okay, uh, you can use TON. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to talk about another topic. Is this, uh, uh, for example, uh, if we want to have a light kind of blinking, let's say if I have a light, uh, I have a light and suddenly the switch uh, controls the light. I want to, once I turn the switch on, the light will be on for uh, one second and then off for one second and then on again and off again uh, what we call the light kind of blinking how do we uh, write a program like that how do we write a program like that okay there are two ways to do that two ways to do that we know this one second this one second here so for one light to blink, we probably need to have two timers. Two timers. Alright, so the first method uh, I'll show it, uh, here is that, okay, let's say if I have the switch and this is a switch, the switch is going to turn uh, timer 1 on, let's use TON, TON and uh, timer name, let's say uh, T1, timer 1 here, and uh, that's uh, EN, uh, those are given, those are given, okay, DN, those are given by the uh, software, and let's say preset, preset uh, 1000, we have one second here. One second here, and uh, now acume certainly is zero here. And when I turn this one on, I want the light to be on. I want the light to be on. And certainly, uh, I can use uh, TT, right? I can use, uh, let's say if I use the timer, timer one, uh, TT, that's going to make the light. Let's say that's the light. That's going to make the light on for one second. Light on for one second. After one second, uh, the um, light will go off. The light will go off. So we want to go off for another second, then come back on again. Come back on again. So I'm going to use another timer. I'm going to use another timer. I said, well, how about if T1 uh, DN, when this timer is done, I'm going to turn another timer on, my T2, T-O-N, timer T2, and I will have a preset of 1000 too, okay, preset 1000, so that I have one second of timing, a Q, and zero. Uh, e N D N here. Okay. So when this timer gets done, I'm gonna turn this timer on. And when this timer on, when this timer on for one second, by the time this timer T2 gets done, I want it to turn off this T1 and turn back on the T1 again. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna put a NOT gate here. I'm gonna put a NOT gate to make this loop, to make a loop, to make a loop. I'm gonna put a NOT gate here. I'm gonna say this NOT gate is alias to T2 DN DN. Now, let's imagine. At a time equal to zero, you turn the switch on. And because this one you haven't turned on yet, definitely the T2 DN is not true, it's false, it's zero. Therefore, the not zero is going to be one. So you've turned on, that's so going to be on. You turn the timer on. Okay, you turn timer on. And you turn timer on, and the lights will be on for one second because of the TT. And after one second, it goes off. It goes off. Now it goes off for how long? At this time, the DN is true, so T2 becomes true. T2 becomes true after one second, after one second, T2DN becomes true. T2DN becomes true and not true is going to be false. That's going to turn the T1 off. That's going to turn T1 off. Once it turns T1 off, almost in a millisecond, this T1DN becomes false, becomes zero, and that's gonna go turn T2 off. Once it turns T2 off, this DN becomes false, becomes false, becomes zero. So it becomes zero, the non-zero becomes one again, and then it's gonna turn this T1 on again. That's how we loop it. That's how we loop it. That's how we loop it. Okay, that's how we loop it. That's gonna turn it on again. Now, so this NOT gate is really interesting. If you know how to use it, uh, it's very powerful. All those happens in a millisecond. All those happens in a millisecond. Turn the T1 off and turn it back on again. So that's not a gate. You gotta be, it's very powerful, but at the same time, you gotta be really careful because not gate, not of anything that even don't exist, anything not exist will be true. This will be equal to one. Okay, so if you made a mistake or I didn't alias to this T2D and alias to something else that is even not exist in the program, this will be always true. This will be always true. So you gotta be careful here. But this is a method to loop it, to loop it. Okay, now the second method is use RTO to uh, reset that. Use RTO. So the second method to loop, uh, to uh, loop, is you use RTO to do that. Okay, so let's say if you have a switch, and switch, and you turn this timer on, T O N. Let's say that's the timer, timer T one. Preset one second. Preset one thousand which is one second a Q, uh, that is zero. And this is given to you, EN and DN. Okay, and then uh, again, I'm gonna use TT. I'm gonna use TT here. Uh, I'm gonna use TT. Uh, oh, no, that's not the, not not gate, that's yes gate. T1, TT. And I'm gonna turn this light on Turn the light on here. Now, instead of using, uh, instead of using this um, um, another TON, this time I'm gonna use a RTO. I'm gonna use a RTO. Let's say if my um, uh, my uh, uh, TO T1 DN is true. I'm going to turn an RTO, retentive timer, that we talk about that, 
uh, last lecture T2 and also preset uh, 1000 IQ is 0 and EN DN okay so I'm gonna use that and after just one second the uh, RTO um, will be uh, uh, this will be after one second it will be true here so I can either use a reset here I'm gonna use a reset here now if this RTO T2 DN becomes true that means after one second it becomes true I'm gonna reset reset this T2 I'm going to reset this T2 and the reset this T2 is going to reset the cum to zero here reset the cum to zero so I will need to have reset this to T2 so when this one here uh, uh, if I use this T2 DN is this going to work and I reset that and this becomes false this becomes true This becomes true, it's gonna turn off and then it's gonna uh, use that. Let's see, I don't have to use uh, yeah I can use I can use that. I can use that to uh, reset that. Okay, so this will work here. By the time this will reset that and reset this one here, DN. So that's another method here. Use the reset um, value here to reset this one here. So that's gonna, when the DN becomes true, that's gonna turn the timer off. Turn the timer off. And once you turn the timer off, becomes of this reset, DN will becomes false again. Become false again. Now, this program scan from this run to this run to this run to this run here, we probably need to just have some sequence. I think that's a better way to reset that. I think that's a better way to reset that.